So we put on the f we actually taken the shoring, I think it's showing right? Yes, the showing from the third floor. So what's gonna happen? We allow the third floor slab and the fourth floor slab to deflect, which means obviously the load on the third floor shoring, which is one point one seventy, now is gonna be distributed evenly on the third floor and the fourth floor of slab, as you can see over here. Why? One point one seventy divided by two is you. Point five ninety and point five eighty, right? And also, intuitively, now there's no load above second floor of slab. So now the second floor slab only need to carry its own weight, one D. The same thing happens to the first floor of slab, which is one D. You also need to figure out the load on the fourth floor of slab which is here. How? Because previously the the fourth floor of slab doesn't carry anything, any weight. But now it's gonna carry point five ninety. So which means one minus point five ninety gives you point four one D, which is the weight carried by the fourth floor of shoring. Then we put on the so first we snot we taken out taken the reshoring from the second floor and put on the third floor snot into the third floor so nothing gonna happen, nothing gonna change. And we put on the fourth floor of slab. The same thing, we allow slab four, slab three, slab two to deflect. So all that weight is gonna be distributed evenly among them. Right? Then we just update that, we get this, and need to, we need to figure out the load on each floor of shoring. So first, all that 1D just go through the fifth floor of shoring, which gives you 1D. And then, uh, 0.33D of that 1D is going to be carried by the fourth floor of slab. So what left going through the third floor of shoring? And previously, because we already, let me show you, we already have 0.41D, right? Now we have an extra, again, 0.67D going through that. You sum them up, which gives you 1.08D, which is the load on the fourth floor of shoring. And the same thing happens to the third floor of reshoring because previously it carries nothing and then there is an extra point three four D goes through go through that. You just uh, sum them up which gives you point three four D. Then again the same thing we just take on the shoring out of the fourth floor and we allow the fourth and the fifth slab to deflect and the weight is going to be distributed among them evenly which is uh, 1.08 divided by 2.54d.54d .54D, okay you update that same intuitively because there's no load above the third floor of slab anymore so they're going to change back to 1D 1D okay so the same thing happens here because now the fifth floor of slab is going to carry 0.54D so previously it carries nothing then we use 1 minus 0.54 gives you 0.460D on the fifth floor of shoring okay then you're just going to repeat again and again. One thing for you to check whether you did it right or not. I, I would say it's not one thing, but the most, the most, the most, the most, the most important thing is that anytime you're in the situation that this slab 
is carried is supported by nothing. Then the weight carried by the slab, for example, here is 1.4 cd, is going to be equal to the shoring slowed above that, which, for example, here is 0.460 plus 1. They should be absolutely equal. Absolutely equal. Okay? For any situation, for example, here we have 1.34d for the second floor, and it should be equal to 0.34d plus 1. You can look at any anywhere of the of your handouts, it's gonna be the same. Anytime you have a slab supported by nothing, so then the load on that slab should be equal to the shoring above that plus one, okay? It should be absolutely equal. Thanks. Now we finish the simplest situation where there is no light load.